All right, let's try this again. Phone just rings whenever I'm doing a video. But anyway, I'm at I, I'm on the construction worker meter, blue collar meter this week. Um, you know, places that you go when when you're you know off the beaten path. Today I'm at Batten's. It's off 261 in a little one horse town called Wedgefield. They just got a Dollar General right up the way here. Uh, Wed, uh, Batten's is right here at the fire department and the railroad tracks. I'll show you what the old Batten's looks like. You've probably seen it if, you, if you've been to Santee. Um, they got all kinds of stuff in there. Front part is a regular old store, you know, uh, drinks and snacks and, uh, you know, lottery tickets or whatever. In the back, they got a restaurant, a little short order grill, kind of like a Waffle House. Um, they got burgers and, and, and uh, uh, the hot dogs are actually up front on the front part, but they got hot dogs, they got chicken wings, they got breakfast, they got livers, they got gizzards, chicken tenders, all that kind of thing. So, you know, if you're down this way, I know duck season is about to start up. A lot of people fish, I mean, uh, hunt Santee down here uh, around Pax or whatever. Coming back up 261, Batten's, they got, you know, they got the full grill. Like I said, they got hot dogs up front, soda snacks, hunting supplies, fishing supplies. They got a big old shark in there, a bobcat, a wild boar, um, all kind of mounts in there, all kind of old nostalgic uh, outboard motors, uh, old tiller handles um, in the back room, and, and then pictures of, of a bunch of catches and kills people's had around this area. But anyway, big breakfast. I got two scrambled bacon grits, two pieces of toast. Five ninety-five. You know, lady, put, lady even put on the gloves for me. And in a place like this, you know, I trust her. You ain't, you know, I don't worry much about it. But you know, it is 2019, and I guess I appreciate the safety. So anyway, here we go. Turn on the camera, the phone rings. All right, so here we are. Two pieces of toast, or, or two, two slices of toast cut four ways. Four pieces of bacon. Eggs cut and laid on top of the, of the uh, grits. She put a little slab of butter in there for me. Stir this thing up real quick. Bacon kind of like grandma had where she cooks it in the morning and this sits it in the stack right there. Give me four pieces. Oh yeah. That ain't no Gwaltney bacon there, cause that was good, that was good bacon. Give me a sweet tea, of course. All right. Grits, and on the pot, two eggs scrambled. Butter, see a little pepper in there, hopefully a little salt too. See what we got. Oh yeah. I'm sure them grits been in that pot for about three hours. They're still good, not too firm. Got a good consistency to them. A little bit of homemade butter, buttery taste there. Scrambled eggs, good. Try this toast. Butter. Lamp. A little lamp on the toast. Pretty much just heated. Not really toasted. Not bad, though. I don't mind. I love bread. So, I'll tell you what. Coming down 261 towards Santee, fishing, hunting, deer hunting, turkey hunting. In the spring, knock off about eight or nine o'clock. Want something to eat? I recommend coming to Batten's. Breakfast, five ninety-five. Um, about right for eggs, grits, bacon, two pieces of toast. Um, nice lady in the back. So, redneck construction worker scale. Batten's. I give it about a four point two. You know, nothing stands out. Nothing's overly great about it. Serviceable. Um, I'd eat it again. And definitely if I was coming out the woods about to starve, this is on. There ain't many options on this road right here. I think you got uh, Indian gas station down the road that sells Hunt Brothers, but 
I didn't try that one time. That ain't good. And you got a long way up, up 378 there before you can get uh get some more some more options. So battens, hot dog really good. I'm gonna try the burgers and the chicken livers. Big breakfast. I give it a 4.25. It's serviceable. Wouldn't go out the way to get it. But if I just came out the duck blind, I'd definitely drop a 5.95 on it. Y'all have a good day. See y'all this afternoon.